of course, we have Pops saying that Trump lost the election, so get over it, guys. Um, there is a DVD we find, Michael Clayton, we find that all the time. We found it at least five times during this, uh, this haul. Of course, didn't nobody bought it, though. There's us looking at some DVDs. Always find a few good stuff every once in a while through this vendor in the Peddler's Mall. This caught my eye, Wrestling Road Diaries 3, and there's Colt Cabana. That looks like it's autographed. I'm not for sure, but uh, we'll find out. $1.50, not bad. There's a random Jesse Ventura DVD. There's a bunch of Xbox games, a couple of PS2 games, a couple of PS3 games. I like to pick up games if I can find them for cheap. Uh, four dollars, not too bad. Uh, just, I didn't really find it. I mean, the, the Golden Eye, my, maybe I should have bought that. I don't know. But, just didn't want to. There's a, a little bulk thing of PS2 games. They wanted ten dollars for it. A couple of sh Jalaki titles. I give it a thumbs down. Uh, and, guys, we found, like, this booth that had, like, brand new XPW Wrestling DVD still brand new sealed, and uh, XPW was an ECW ripoff, but nice to see, and especially for uh, five dollars a piece, hell of a deal. Brand new sealed, nice little bundle there. What is that like seven? Yeah, about seven DVDs there. Did this caught my eye on the shelf? It said WWE Studios on. It. I was like, what the fuck? I don't remember uh, this, and then I look at the cover, it says Pure Country with uh, Willie Nelson. I'm like, I don't I don't remember this DVD at all, exclusively at Walmart. And then I see Shawn Michaels with the uh, with with the black hat, and, and apparently de uh, Shawn's in that movie. I didn't know that. We found a PS2 uh, Shut Your Mouth. That's always a nice one to pick up. There's an old, crappy, it even says it doesn't work. Uh, in uh, NES. I never find NESs at work. There's Pops <laughs> saying uh, there's Scooter Street Hoofy and JM. Hey guys, there is the old man all in his glory dancing to the oldie station as usual. Nice. There you go. And uh, there's Pops going to be making fun of Tommy because Tommy traded in head coach one time to a game store and the game store goes, I'm only going to give you 75 cents for it. <laughs> And there is a random disc three of John Cena Greatest Rivalries. They wanted a dollar for it, but it was only the one disc. And I was like, why do you even sell that for? And then they were in the glass case, a couple PS2 games, some DS, some controllers, uh, some memory cards. And maybe I should have picked up some memory cards. There's a few uh, Game Boy Advance games, and that's about it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back in this bitch. That's right, guys. We are back. Uh, and, uh, we actually went to Peddler's Mall. Yes. Which is a, uh, thrift, kind of antique mall, kind of indoor flea market kind of place. Maybe some people have them, some people don't. Um, we go there maybe... Once a month. Once a month, possibly. Because there's a reason. They're not, they, they don't, they don't restock up a lot. Yeah. They don't restock uh, all, the all the time, you know, because it, 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 you know, that goes by booze, uh, booths, and uh, people uh, put new stock in every so often. So, we actually went there and we actually found some stuff. And oddly enough, Pops and Tommy bought more than I did. Yeah. Because of, there's a few things in here I bought for uh, a, another YouTube channel, yeah. which uh, we'll be getting into, into soon. Um, found found some decent stuff here. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe I should go first with, right. uh, with just the stuff that I didn't right. <laughs> get. Um, you guys seen it in the footage, by the way. Uh, we did get some footage while we were in uh, Peddler's Mall. And... Uh, I'm just go ahead and take that out here. Everything I bought is like DVDs, but uh, a lot of these are not for me. They are for a um, good friend of ours, uh, Awesome 4K, uh, Ken from Awesome 4K. He's a big uh, hardcore deathmatch kind of uh, fan, so he likes a lot of the deathmatches and hardcore matches. I could take them or leave them. 
And uh, I actually found these. Well, I, I found. Well, Tommy found the first yeah. one. Yeah. Tommy found the first DVD, which was actually this one. And it's XPW. Uh, XPW Wrestling. And it was in a section that we don't frequent very often. And then he finds one. I find one. Then we find another one. And another, another one. one and, and another, another one. one. And another one. And we find a bunch of these XPW DVDs just sitting there. Um... And with these, uh, these are actually still brand new sealed, by yeah. the way. They're actually still sealed. Uh, and uh, I got in contact with Ken, and Ken wants these, so uh, I will be sending them over to him. Uh, but uh, first, we're going to show you what we, what, what we did pick up here. And we found, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We found seven of these XPW DVDs just... Uh, in just a bunch of yeah. DVD racks, so yeah. which is nice to see. Uh, re main reason why I don't want to keep them is I'm not a big fan of the XPW. Me uh, if it was ECW, different story. Yeah, uh, XPW, I didn't give a two fucks about. Me neither. And plus, it was ran by the fucking porn. Yeah, come cool. on, man. That's why I hate it. Yeah, it's but, ran by porn king over here. Yeah, so I, I didn't and, give a and, shit. and 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 uh, and they did use a lot of the ECW stars, but it was right after ECW closed. Yeah, and see. And they were trying to be ECW, but they they were sucky ECW. Yeah, they were my sucky. Opinion. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, they were sucky ECW, and uh, all these uh, all these were five dollars, uh, still brand new sealed. All of them were still brand new yeah. sealed, and I got them for five dollars a piece. I'm not sure if you see that price tag or not, but it does say five dollars. You guys seen it in the in the, yeah. in the footage though, but this one says the uh, XPW Wrestling Death Matches. Then we have uh, we have Li Liberty or Die XPW, which uh, I see uh, Chris Hamrick there. I see Chaos, mm -hmm. um, and then we got Terry Funk, Terry Funky, who's the only big star in that whole goddamn thing there. Yes, uh, so uh, yeah, we'll get to that. Feel sorry for Terry. <laughs> then we have the best of XPW Deathmatch Television. This one's called Bloody Tag War Volume 1. And uh, footage never released on home video until now. And uh, I'm seeing uh, I'm seeing Sabu. I'm seeing... Uh, uh, it's like Abdullah the Butcher. Yeah, Abdullah the Butcher and uh, Axel and uh, Ian Rotten. Of course, Ian Rotten's going to be in well, there. Of course, Ian Rotten, any any place he can get work. Yeah. You know, he, he lost his job at Taco Bell. Once again, all still brand new. Se <laughs> security device enclosed. <laughs> Uh, then we have. <laughs> what? Well, well, he he, he didn't he did come into work at Taco Bell and he lost it. Uh, this one does have a little minor rip on the on the edge here. That's the but, way it was when, yeah. it, when it came. But that you know that that's the way it was when it came. Uh, I mean it's it, it's nothing that bad. It just yeah. has a little rip on the end there. But that's the way it was when we got it. Uh, XPW Wrestling Exit Sandman Inner Shark Boy. Oh, so we get Shark Boy, huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, and, uh, I see Shane Douglas on here, yes, um, Vic Grimes, oh, that's gonna be fantastic, mm -hmm. and then we got Danny Doring oh. on there too, so, cool. yay, XPW Wrestling Genocide, and we got New Jack, no shock, okay, some fat guy named Pogo, and we got Major Guns, oh, cool, oh, she's course. always there, she'll walk, she'll walk around and show her guns. Yes, you will. So, and a bunch of people in this fucking stable. I have no idea who the fuck they are. Well, what'd you say? New Jacks there? Jobbers. Yeah, jo oh, well, Sandman. Where's Sandman? That's the only big star. That's the only one I know out of them. Yeah, Major Guns from WC. Uh, well, yeah, uh, uh, I'm talking about is New Jack there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, what's he gonna do? Stab another kid? Probably. Yeah, he probably yeah, he stab deserves it for the next PW. Evan Courageous is in this. Oh man, uh, nothing yeah. happening. Yeah, he's gonna take it on Vic Grimes. Oh, that's gonna well, be a barn burner. This one actually sounds decent. Uh, they they also have Juventud Guerrero on here too, uh, and Damian Six Six Six, which is uh, what wasn't that just Damian from WCW? Yeah. yeah. And Pogo the Clown. That's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, I bet I, I bet you everybody <coughs> loves Pogo. Uh, oh yeah, everybody loves Pogo. We got XPW Baptized in Blood, which actually has Chris Candido. Imagine that. And Shane Jesus Douglas. Christ, and Shane Douglas. Um, Let me see. Oh, yeah. And uh, let's see, we got... Uh, well, Axel Rotten. Well, there's Sonny. Knew, knew she was going to show up there. Yeah. There's uh, Axel Rotten. Yeah. 
Well, how many people she fucked back in that one? Axel and Ian Rotten, of course. Um, Jimmy the Homeless Guy. I never heard of that guy. <laughs> Some jabroni. Yep, there, there he is. Axel Rotten. Cronus. Yeah. Cro Cronus is in two matches. Oh, this is a tournament. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Um... The Messiah. Wasn't he the guy that was on American Most Wanted? Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, Chris Candido with uh, Tammy Sunny Snitch. Or Sitch, or whatever her fucking name was. Oh yeah, Tommy, we got we, we got uh, we got Nicole Bass on this too. That's, that's oh, going to be thrilling. Yeah, uh, Tammy Fitch or Snitch. Yeah, you got a snitch all right, but how many snitches got that? And the last one is from XPW as well. It's Baptized in Blood 2. And I see Hooventude. I, I see, see Messiah. And Messiah with Lizzie Borden. New Jack. There's Vic Grimes. So, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of people on there. And uh, I want to see if the... Oh, yeah. And these, these, guys, these are going to be great matches. You know, listen to this. We got beds of barbed wire and nails. We got beds of light tubes and broken glass. Mm-hmm. We got a barbed wire ladder mm -hmm. and beds of thumbtacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are fucking great. A no rope barbed wire beds of everything deathmatch. Mm -hmm. Let's throw it all in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just to set the record yeah. straight here, you know. Now, hold up. Turn that around. Yeah. Look. Is that kid behind the camera? Probably is. Oh, right there? Yeah. That looks like him. <laughs> Fat bastard. Anyway. Uh, but, you know, guy, guys that did that right there... You can tell how and, thrilled and I am of XPW. Really good at it. Yeah, we're thrilled about XPW. That was really good at it. Mm -hmm. You know what happened to their career, right? And uh, all these are still brand new sealed, and I will be giving these to um, uh, Austin 4K. He is going to be buying them from me for what I paid for them because, you know, that's the way me and him work. And honestly, these sell online on eBay for ten dollars a piece. So, uh, are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, still brand new sealed. Oh yeah. Uh, so and, that's and, so and, so, and and honestly, the XPW is a little harder to find on DVD. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, they are a little harder to find on DVD. So, to see them brand new sealed and stuff, that's not a bad deal. So, uh, average eBay price for all of them seventy dollars. I would have yeah. paid double what it was. I actually only paid thirty five for this entire lot, and that's what Ken's going to be paying me back is thirty five. So yeah, good for him You'll on that. You'll be getting your money back. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be getting my money back, and I helped out a friend. So there you go. Hey guys, also make sure you guys subscribe to Awesome Four K. Yeah, YouTube channel. subscribe to Awesome Four K. So, uh, so, so, so really, you, you know, you you can say this right here. You know, the best of both worlds. You, you got them cheap and you're helping a friend. That's, that's yeah. the best of both worlds, people. That's, it think about it. What you end up getting, old man? Uh, I, got, I, I got me some, some CDs here. What you get? Uh, I got... Now, you know, I've I told this right here to people, you know. Uh, it, you know, the, the, super, the super hits are the best. I have got Willie Nelson's super hits. And it is... That's Wailing Jenny. Yeah, well, Wailing Jenny's Wailing super hits. Sorry. And it's sealed. Here, put yeah. your glasses on. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, put the glasses on. Yeah, it is well. Uh, it is well. Well, Jennings, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's still brand new. It's seal. still brand new seal. Uh, they got the songs on here. Uh, Only Daddy Walked favorites? the Line. Uh, I, I tell you, my, my favorites are Only Daddy Walked the Line, uh, Good Hearted Woman, uh, I'm a Rambling Man. Uh, everybody knows the thing from the Dukes of Hazard. Uh, Looking Back, Texas. Uh, who's gonna satisfy you, Lucille? And uh, who's your daddy? Uh, Steve Bradley. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this, you know, I I have I love Waylon Jennings. And uh, uh, and I, I love Waylon Nelson too. On so. eBay, it sold for seven dollars. Pops did pay seven dollars. I paid for seven dollars, but he wanted it. So. But I look at this right here, Wayne. If it's something you fucking want, if it's something you want, hey, get it if you got the money. Yeah. So I I I, I want I seen it. And it's got it's got got, my, got biggest part of my favorite songs on it, so I took it. Next one up is Oh Lord, everybody loves Conway. Conway, Conway Twitty. Uh, uh, I got got the songs on, on here. Uh, still brand new too. Yeah, still brand new. Uh, 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 Fifteen years ago, uh, Louisiana woman, Mississippi man, Whipper, Little Lynn. <coughs> uh, uh, the play uh, play guitar play. Uh, don't take, don't take her away. Uh, happy birthday, darling. Uh, just all, all kinds of, of, of beautiful song. Hey, 
And this this is a tearjerker here. That's my job. It's about him raising the kids. Uh, beautiful. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, Conway uh, Twitty uh, gets sold on eBay for ten dollars. Pops only paid seven, so he saved a, I saved few, and, uh, a few bucks on and that. Who, and who, you know, rounding out the three has got to be, you know, Kenny oh, Rogers. Oh, 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 you got Joey's boss. <laughs> My boss looks like Kenny Rogers. I'm not joking. Joe Petri, take a, and, and he does. I've seen him. He, he, he looks like Kenny Rogers. Uh, but Tommy, uh, no talent. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, not talented Kenny Rogers. Yeah, but he look. No, I'm serious. They know this. He looks yeah, good. Yeah, like Kenny does. Rogers. If, if you can see Kenny Rogers here, and you know Kenny Rogers, uh, uh, look just by looking at him, he does look like Kenny Rogers. But uh, we all know that it ain't Kenny Rogers because. Uh, He's no talented. Uh, uh, didn't Kenny Rogers just die recently? Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. Uh, yes, he, he, he died recently. Uh, big loss to the music industry, along with others that has passed away in the music industry. Big loss. Uh, Kenny Rogers uh, got some great songs on here. I'm sure I'm sure you people hear it. Lucille, Lady, Love Lifted Me, uh, We've Got Tonight, uh, Scarlet Fever, uh, Love or Something Like It. Uh, you know, good good times, friends. You know, uh, the gambler, uh, just uh, just the gambler. Uh, coward of the I'm county, That's right. uh, coward of the county. Uh, something's burning, and and uh, the the love will will turn you around. Uh, all if, if I if I announced all of them would be here for a while. Uh, that one sold on eBay for ten dollars as well. That's actually used and it still sells for ten dollars. Yes. Yeah, but uh, pops only paid seven, saved a few dollars. Only paid seven for it, as you can see. Uh, still got, here's the names of all the songs on here, just like the, like how it is on the back. And uh, I've seen it. I like Kenny Rogers. Got some of the greatest songs on here that, that, that he did. And I picked it up. And that's what I got at Peddler's Mall. Tommy, you want to show a few things that you got there? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show a few things. First thing I got is Ernest in the Army. Ernest in the Army? Yeah. You like our, the, the, the Ernest uh, movies? Yeah, I do. I've, so I was like, you know what? Fuck it, it's there. And I paid a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. It says dollar forty nine, but you might as well say fucking a dollar fifty. In pretty decent condition. Yeah, it's let's see if we can get the motherfucker out. There we go. A few yeah. light scratches. Just a few light scratches. It's in decent shape. So uh, Ernest uh, Ernest in the Army. About a five dollar DVD sold on eBay, but Tommy only paid a dollar fifty. Yeah, and I like Ernest. Yeah. So I'm gonna do the other one. They good. I got Ernest Wack Ernest Wacky Adventures. Also the same booth, a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. And honestly, another five dollar DVD. I, I don't. I don't remember the Army one. And uh, Tommy, what what was your favorite Ernest movie? Ernest goes to jail. Ernest goes to jail. And this is in really good shape, also. So, not bad. I thought Ernest was a good fucking movies. I thought he made good movies. Jim Barney, yeah. yeah. Hey, hope, you, hope you know he's a Kentucky native too, by the way. Yeah, yes, he is a Kentucky yes. native. Oh, did he? Uh, what he born in Pikeville? Yeah, I think, Pikeville, like Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah. So. So yeah, I picked up those two. Uh, you want to show the one, uh, the uh, one of your games there? T yeah. uh, Tom actually found a few games. Yeah, I found a few games. First game I found for the PlayStation Two. I've been on a bowling kick. Yeah, Tommy has been on a bowling. Uh, kick. I got AMF Extreme Extreme Bowling. Extreme bowling. I don't know how fucking extreme it's going to be. But <laughs> it's going to be pretty extreme. And it only cost it four dollars. Is it going to be bucks. real extreme? So, pick that up. Complete. It's complete with the manual. And the disc is in. It's got smudge, but that's easy to fucking wipe off. Uh, it's a decent shape. You take AMF Extreme Bullet sells on eBay for about five bucks, but. You know, Tommy wanted it. He's been on a bowling kick. He, he did save a buck on it. You take, yeah, a, so fuck it. You take a soft cloth. To, and it's got just and a you little wipe, wipe it off real it. good. You know, because most of it's just dust. You want to go ahead and show your last one there? Yeah. You want to go ahead and show yeah. my last one? And then I'll show mine, which is actually right. pretty uh, pretty. The last neat. one. Yeah. This is a big one right here. Yeah. This is the big horse, let me tell you. Let me tell you. The last one. For the PlayStation 2, WWE Smackdown, Shut Your Mouth. Now, Tommy, you already own this at some point. Yes. Now, uh, explain why. Explain why did yeah. I get it? Yes. Because it didn't come in its original case. Tommy owns this, but it come it came in the GameStop case. Yeah, and you know that shit. And you don't want that. And I found it there 
at Peddler's Mall for only $12. $12. I thought that was a pretty decent deal. Uh, sold on eBay. What time is that complete? It's complete with manual. It is complete with manual. Uh, if it's complete, sold on eBay, it's around uh, $18. Yeah, so I only paid 12 bucks for it. And the disc is in actually pretty decent shape. Yeah, so. Just a few uh, light scratches, actually. So, not bad. Uh, not too bad. Uh, saved uh, about $6 on that. That's not bad. Um, and, uh, uh, of course, Tommy wanted an actual. Uh, I wanted the actual uh, yeah, yeah, case. Uh, actual case with a manual. He, he wanted a complete copy of this game. And Tommy loves this game. Uh, yeah, it's a good game. It's a great game. Uh, it is. I, and now, and now I actually already have Here Comes the Pain in the yeah, original yeah, case. Yeah, I got, I, got, I, got, I got smacked down. Here Comes the Pain and all those. And now I got Shut Your Mouth and finally and it's an original case. Uh, and then I found one thing which, which kind of puzzled me. Uh, it's, it's the only one thing I bought myself. I, like I said, Pops found three things. Tommy found four things. Besides this one I got for Ken, I only bought me one thing. You only bought one thing. And it was this. And per, pretty much I don't care about this DVD, to be honest with you. <laughs> but when I seen it there, I was like, huh, that looks familiar uh, as far as like uh, who's on the cover there. And then I read the names, and I'm like, hmm. What this is, is this is uh, Wrestling Road Diaries 3... Oh god, I hate to I hate to even say this title. Funny equals money. Um and uh this is a a DVD. It says the world of professional wrestling has always been known for its tough, mean, and hard hitting wrestlers. This movie documentary is a complete opposite. Join the three of the world's most famous comedic pro wrestlers on their journey. Which is uh, Colt Cabana. Uh, this guy named Kick Kickaro? Kickaroo? Or whatever his fucking name is in the fucking mask. Kangaroo. Uh, and you got, uh, uh, was it Jardo? Who was, uh, I remember seeing him in TNA at some point. And it says Japan's uh, Kickaro, or Carito, or his fucking name is. Scotland's uh, Gerardo, or whatever. And Chicago's Colt Cabana. Tore a variety of wrestling shows opening up for the, the world of independent and comedic pro wrestling for the world to see. Which I hate comedy and pro wrestling. Um, unless it's like uh, something that's actually legitimate and not dumb. Uh, get get ready for laughter, intrigue, fascination, um, psychology, and so much more. And uh says it's a runtime of uh, about an hour and a half. And uh, those are the people that are involved. And I couldn't find this on eBay. And I eventually found it on Colt Cabana's actual website. And believe it or not, this is actually autographed by Colt Cabana. <laughs> um, uh, there's, there's Colt Cabana's face. You can barely see because of the sticker. But there's Colt Cabana's face and there's his autograph. And uh, I've actually met Colt Cabana before. I actually got his autograph before, because he used to wrestle in OVW mm -hmm. yep. uh, for uh, for about a year before he became Scotty Goldman in WWE. You guys remember that? And uh, I seen this there, and I go, hmm. It kind of puzzled me because I'm you know I'm seeing these faces, and I'm like, that looks like Colt Cabana, and that looks like an autograph. And come to find out, it is a legit autograph of Colt Cabana because of. He actually, on on Colt Cabana's actual website, you can actually order this DVD from, from his site, and he does autograph it. Uh, so apparently that's what this guy did and put, put it in his booth. And uh, on his site, he's selling this DVD autograph for 15 bucks. A little overpriced for me, if you ask me. But <laughs> at his booth, he had it for for one DVD, $1.50. <laughs> I spent a dollar fifty on myself, and I got an autographed DVD. Yeah, so, that cause, uh, is what it is. Because that guy knew that he wasn't gonna get no fifteen bucks out of it, my buddy. And uh, the the disc is in like fantastic condition. Looks like it's so, never been watched. Yeah, it don't look like it's ha it hasn't even. But been I don't watched, blame him. So. I don't blame him. Um, now, granted, I don't care about this DVD to be honest with you, but it's cool that I actually found a legit uh, autographed DVD for a buck fifty at a at a fucking Pillars Mall. So. That was pretty cool to get, right? But um, it, it, 
it just tells you the story here. You, know? you never know what you guys are going to find. You can get anything. It, if, if you just go there and look, you might find any damn thing. Yeah, you actually might find, um, granted, I'm, I'm not the biggest Colt Cabana fan, but I found a Colt Cabana autographed DVD at a fucking indoor flea market, for crying out loud. Uh, hope that you guys enjoyed the, well, hold on, we should say that the average eBay price for everything would have been 145 bucks. Yeah. But, since we got all these at Peddler's Mall... Uh, we only paid seventy-seven dollars tax because uh, we had to add tax in there. Uh, it, w it, w it was seventy-seven dollars. That's a total savings of sixty-eight bucks. Uh, granted, I'm going to get thirty-five back out of these DVDs because uh, of Ken. So uh, we saved around uh, about thirty-eight dollars. Well, uh, about well, thirty bucks. Those, so. those, those right there, brassy ones, are just like brand new because they ne they've never been ripped open. They're just like brand new. Not a bad deal. Nope. Ho hope Not a bad deal at all. Hope that you guys enjoyed the Peddler's Mall pickup video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook, Facebook.com. So her Instagram page too. Don't forget to add pops on Facebook if you guys want to talk about the evil orange man with the small hands. Guys, also. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. You can follow me and Tommy on Instagram. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys because we are that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop. And nobody does it better. Fuck yeah.